Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my show. Anyways, let me show you guys a review after two years of owning a Mylon Bicycle Wireless Turn Signal, which I have shown you guys before. Um, I've actually have been having problems with it recently, so hopefully this thing will do what it's going to do. And then all of a sudden, my uh, dual here starts, my wireless turn signal starts going a little wonky. It starts, it'll go on, stay on for a bit, and it'll start flashing off. And then it'll turn itself just off. So for me, it's a bicycle hazard because it's not going to be functioning the correct way while I'm cycling. Because I use this here mainly for hazard lights and turn signals on turning left or right on the road for people to see me. So I'm going to show you guys what this is doing and I'll let you guys know what uh, my review of it up to this far is and my plans for getting a new one. And of course, what it's supposed to do is left turn signal. That's what it does. Right turn signal. That's what that does. And just so you all know, for the Mylan wireless turn signal, it stays like that until you press the button otherwise. So if I don't press the button, this doesn't stay like that until the battery dies. Warning for flashing lights. This is one of the hazard lights for the uh, warning. This is the other hazard light for a warning. And then back to his normal self. Now what I'm using here is this right here. It fits onto any handlebar. Using the right turn signal, press it, it stays on. This here will actually also light up to indicate that you've pressed the button successfully. And it'll stay on until um, you do otherwise. And if I just turn this like this, and then turn signal will be off. Or if you want to, you can go from here. That'll light up. And then directly from there, you can go straight to the other side. Or alternatively, you can turn that turn signal off. And then turn that one on instead of going directly from one to the other. And then you also have the three different hazard lights, which is this button right here. And then you got the laser. Now, the laser for my bike isn't going to do very much because I have rear panniers. But I'll show you anyways, just for entertainment purposes, I guess, or just to show you guys. Again, this is just to show you guys. So. Because I have panniers, you're not going to see this, otherwise it would be on the road itself. If I didn't have panniers, this would be perfect, but I do have panniers, so unfortunately you're not going to be able to see this on the road. What that does is actually indicate an actual bicycle version of an, a bike lane. So basically, that's my own version of a bike lane via through that. After having to press that button again, it's a flashing bike lane. And after pressing it again, it goes back to normal. And this is actually what it looks like up close and personal. Please do excuse the background noise. The walls and the ceilings of where I live isn't exactly soundproof. So anything anybody does or says will be heard, whether you like it or not, want it or not. And I want you to keep in mind this is actually fully charged. I fully charge it twice a week. Usually on a Sunday, actually Saturday night, Sunday morning, I'll fully charge it, and then afterwards I'll charge it again sometime later on during the week. So again, this is fully charged.
and that it is not supposed to do. And that is after a year and a half of me owning the product and using the product. And so because of that, I will be buying myself a new one and a different one. So it was awesome using it while I did, but unfortunately, now I know that it's flawed, at least in that aspect. So I tried the Mylon one, but there are plenty of other kinds and types out there as far as wireless turn signals go for bicycles. So I'll be utilizing a different kind. So I will still be going. I will still be going with a wireless turn signal, but from a different kind of deal. So, and whenever I choose which one I want to go with for the next one, I'll have a premiere for that one. And then after that, I'll also have an unboxing video and installation as well. So, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Appreciate the love, support, and thank you for taking the time of your day or night, or evening or morning, or wherever you are at in the world. Thank you for taking your time out of wherever you're at to watch this. I appreciate it, and as always, love and peace until next we meet.